Terry says, hey guys, wondering how you approach getting some quick leads for a client early on for an SEO campaign where it will likely be six months before they rank for their money keywords. Um, well, uh, you know, paid traffic is a good way to do it. Um, that's probably one of the best ways. Something else you could always do is referral, um, you know, like review. Uh, I just started testing. I, it's in this chat, guys. If you scroll up from last to last week's um, chat area, uh, you'll see that I posted a Go High GHL Smart Reviews. If you're using High Level, which I, you know, I use for my agency, um, there's a really cool service where it's an, it's an add-on. It's a snapshot that you can import. It's You have to pay for it. It's $597 but it's a whole like review generating system that you, you know, obviously you should use for clients, but it also has a referral component to it. Um, and that's a great way to do it. I mean, even high, like high level, they, even with their standard, you know, without this custom snapshot, they talk about what they call database reactivation campaigns, which means like, if you go, if you go to a, a client, you, you land a new client and they have a customer list, right? Names and phone numbers or names, phone numbers, and emails of previous customers, then you can reach out to them using a, you know, to, to request reviews. And at that point, you know, start to get it, a lot of, I always call that shaking the bushes because when you shake the bushes, you know, things start to fall out. And I used to always make jokes with my tree service clients, uh, contractors, which very few of them keep databases of, of customers um, besides like literally on in, in like written down in, in books, like, you know, like uh, composition notepads and stuff like that. I'm not kidding. Very few of them have digital records of, of their previous customers, but I would always call it shaking the bushes because I would say, if you shake the bushes, revenue falls out. And meaning like, if we go back and contact your previous customers, uh, we can oftentimes get repeat business right out of them. And so that's something that you could do. And, and again, high level talks about calling it database reactivation, which means going back and contacting former clients or customers and, you know, offering them some sort of a special 5%, 10%, whatever, $50 off, whatever it is. Uh, if they come back, if they like for tree service contractors, again, it would be like, Hey, it's been a, you know, it's been a while since we've done anything for you. Just want to let you know, if you have any tree work that needs to be done, you know, we'll give you $50 off. Um, something like that. And oftentimes you can generate new revenue from previous customers that way. Well, taking it up another level, you can request reviews from previous customers and you can also incentivize referrals. Like in other words, like, hey, and that's what this GHL smart review snapshot was like completely built around was, was uh, around generating reviews, but also asking for referrals and incentivizing referrals. So therefore, when shaking the bushes, contacting your, your customer database, your past customer database, uh, you ask for reviews and then say like, hey, for every person you refer, we'll give you, not, you know, another $50 off your next tree service in my case. Does that make sense? So those are things that you can do that really don't cost anything. It's just a matter of setting it up. If you have a system that does it, you can automate that. And that's what I was talking about with the GHL smart reviews for high level. It's a really slick system. I picked it up about three weeks ago and I just started using it with one contractor last week. Um, I think we've sent out 16 review requests and we've got seven as of today, we got seven reviews back already. Um, so I think that's, you know, a pretty damn good response rate on a review campaign. So, and I haven't set the referral part of it up yet, but, um, I plan on that going forward as I implement, you know, add that to more of my, my, um, my agency clients. So it's a pretty cool system. But that's what I would do. There's always paid ads too, Terry. Um, Google ads is, it's tough to get, you know, get results with that uh, right up front. It takes a little while to dial that in unless you've got experience with that already. And even with experience, generally campaigns are going to be lo like lose money up front. Um, it's usually, at least for me, it's usually month two before I start to turn a profit on an ads campaign um, or return, I should say, for, for, for clients. And that's why I don't do a lot of Google ad stuff. It's just, it's hard to do. I mean, it can be effective, but um, I found that most clients don't have the stomach for it because they, you know, they're paying for SEO too. So also wondering which medium is best for this with minimal cost. Again, I think, re, you know, referral marketing, uh, re database reactivation. So contacting previous customers to incentivize, you know, to, to, to basically ask, um, ask for more business. Really. I think that's one of the best ways to do it because it's very inexpensive. You just need an email platform, right? Some automated emails, automated text messaging, um, and a way for, you know, just an automated reply system that, you know, and that's high level is great for that. So I would check it out.